Hello dear students. So today we are going to discuss about origin of chordates and in the last video we discussed about a kinodum theory and today we will be discussing about acedian theory. Right? So what are acedians? Acedians are the eurochordates. Right? So uh, if you don't know what are eurochordates then you can watch my uh, previous video where I have explained what are eurochordates, cephalochordates, right. So uh, this theory it was uh, given by Gerstank in 1928 and later it was supported by Barrel and Roma, right. So according to this theory, chordates they uh, evolved from some fixed marine and filter feeding acidians, right? Fixed marine and filter feeding acidians. Acidians means eurochordates, right? So let's see from this diagram. So the, this is the ancestral stalk, right? So this ancestral stalk is actually, they are sessile and arm feeder. Arm feeder means uh, they had tentacle like arms. Just say tentacles hote, tentacle like arms as you can see in the diagram. And by ciliary method they trap the food particles. Right. So from this ancestral stalk were derived primitive echinoderms and pterobranchs. Right. So uh, in due course of time what happened that there was a shift from arm feeding to gill filter feeding. Here they were arm feeders. So arm feeders se wo gill feeders, gill filter feeders ban gai. So unke jo pharynx tha uh, that became perforated. Uh, right. So the gill slits they were developed in the pharynx. Now uh, so we can say that the external tentacles they were replaced by an internal filtering apparatus right. So food is trapped inside the pharynx and the water uh, it will leave through the gill slits right. So, uh, so what are pterobranchs? Pterobranchs are the hemichordate in which both the tentacles are present as well as uh, a single pair of gill slit was also developed right. So these pterobranchs they had both type of feeding that is arm feeding as well as gill filter feeding right. So uh, they are considered to be a transition stage between arm feeding and filter feeding right. So in due course of time a group evolved which had perforated pharynx. So you can see uh, the, in these uh, acidians they had perforated uh, gill slits that is uh, sorry perforated pharynx that is their arms totally disappeared and gill slits developed. So they had internal food trapping mechanism. So from this group right so this group from this group arose two lines right. So one line it led to the development of the free living hemichordates. So acron worms are the hemichordates right and these were the free living hemichordates or in ke ye jo, ye wali jo stage thi, this group they were sessile. Sessile means they were fixed right. So it uh, one line gave rise to hemichordates which were free living while the other line it evolved into sessile ancestral eurochordates. So these are considered to be the ancestral eurochordates. Right. So these uh, ancestral eurochordates they gave rise to chordates according to this theory. Right. So uh, these ancestral eurochordates they were sessile and they gave rise to uh, three lines you know uh, that is uh, one line evolved into eurochordates which are also known as tunicates and uh, one line gave rise to cephalochordates that is amphioxes and the other line gave rise to vertebrates. Right. So uh, these early ye jo, uh, ancestral eurochordates say they were sessile that is they were fixed. Now they developed a free swimming tailed larva right. So this is the ancestral tunicate with free swimming tailed larva. So unke, unka jo larva tha, that was free swimming 
why it was free swimming to feed on the planktons on the surface water right ek to feeding ke liye the larva was free swimming and uh, also for dispersal dispersal means to move from one place to another because this adult it was sessile fixed tha ye right so then uh, this larva uh, you know it will attach itself to a suitable substratum and then it undergoes retrogressive metamorphosis right so retrogressive metamorphosis kya hota hai so the metamorphosis in which the adult सो द मेटामोफोसिस इन विच द लार्वा इज मोर एडवांस्ड दैन द एडल्ट इज कॉल्ड रेट्रोग्रेसिव मेटामोफोसिस एज इन केस ऑफ यूरोकॉडेट्स द लार्वा इज फ्री स्विमिंग बट द एडल्ट इज फिक्सड जो मॉडर्न ट्यूनिकेट्स हैं उनमें जो एडल्ट हैं दैट इज फिक्सड सो दिस टाइप ऑफ मेटामोफोसिस इज नोन एज रेट्रोग्रेसिव मेटामोफोसिस तो ये जो फ्री स्विमिंग लार्वे थे Uh, so some of the larvae they underwent in, uh, retrogressive metamorphosis and they gave rise to uh, inactive or fixed adult forms right so they so uh, one line it gave rise to fixed adult forms and they are known as tunicates or modern uro uh, modern tunicates or eurocordates right but some of these tailed larvae they did not metamorphosed into the fixed adults instead they underwent neuteny right so now what is neuteny neuteny or it is also known as pedogenesis neuteny means when the larva it develops gonads right when larva develops gonads and start behaving like an adult that process is known as neuteny or pedogenesis so some of these free swimming larva they did not metamorphosed into the fixed adults that is tunicates instead these larvae they developed conids and they started behaving like an adult right so here in this diagram you can see these are the advanced cordates which were um, in which the sessile adult stage is lost how it is lost because these free swimming larvae they developed gonads and they started behaving like an adult so this is how the free swimming adults were uh, produced right so these are also known as neuteness type of adults right so um from these free swimming neuteness adult forms arose two lines isse ab two lines arose hui one line gave rise to the development of amphioxus that is cephalocordates right and the other line it led to the evolution of the primitive filter feeding vertebrates which uh, in due course of time they evolved into higher vertebrates right so this is uh, about the acedian theory of origin of chordate i hope you like this video i hope this topic is clear to you uh, thank you so much